Is it recording? Oh, bosh, call to me. Thanks for tuning in, fellas, to Tarantula Feeding Video 141, our second installment for this lovely feeding video. So today's video, uh, we featured uh, shelves 1, 2, 9, 10, and 3 for part 1. Today we're doing 4, 5, and 6, so be sure to look on the video description. There's timestamps included uh, showing the common name and the scientific name of the tarantulas that were featured in this part. So with that said and done with, hope you enjoy, grab your back of popcorn and your favorite drink and enjoy the show. All right, so the very first tarantula we're gonna feed in part two of my feeding video is my Pisotheria rufolata, which is the red slate ornamental. Boosh. There she be. Hardly any coloration going on there. Oh boy. Okay, I'm feeling the hairs of this one. This one is Nina. She is my Nandu Colorado Velosis, the Brazilian black and white. Nice. And always depend on your Nandu. Perfect. Alright, Speedy Gonzalez over here. Now you see her, now you don't. Uh, this is my female Orthonoctinus oritibalius, which is the Thailand gold fringe. Yeah, she's over there, she's hiding. See if you can actually get a cricket to go in her den. I think she got it. Yep. Nice girl, two inches. Not full grown yet. These guys get about having a four and a half to five inch leg span. And Kerai's uh, Orthonoctinus is very similar to Sargophagus. Uh, basically, you keep them in deep substrate with relatively humid and a very happy Sargophagus is one that you don't really see too often. My Nandu Tripepi female, which is the giant blonde bird eater. Now this is the, one of the more massive uh, Nandus, the largest of the genus, to get us to having a 7 to 8 inch leg span. It is crazy huge. Maybe not the most colorful one, but definitely very chunky once they get adults. So this girl is about, I would say, close to about 2.5 inches. And are they hungry? We will find out in just a jiffy. There we go. Love it. Really nice not do. Might as well be consistent and film my other tripepi. Uh, this one's an unsexed spiraling. It's growing really quickly. Whoa! <laughs> that was fast, but she missed. And I'm missing two crickets. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Yep, showing its adult colors. Really plump. Nice blonde color. Alright, everyone. I want to give you an update on this spider. Uh, this is my Pisotheria 
Formosa, which is the Salem Ornamental. As you can see, oh man, the epigastric furrow is definitely visible. So it's a confirmed female and just recently molted so their colors are definitely very amazing. I'm just gonna push her up just slightly a bit so you can see what she looks like. There we go. Don't be shy honey. I just love the nice contrasting beige and purple. It's called the Salem Ornamental. Really striking pokey. This one here is Peachy Natasha. She is my Cyclosternum species Macala. Uh, Peruvian peach collared. Hence the name Peachy Natasha. Oh, nice. First time she ate on camera. Been a long time. Woohoo! All right, we'll give one more to her and see if she wants it. There we go, beautiful. Alrighty, some good eating now. This one is Lily, my mature female Monocentropus balfouri, which is the Socotra Island blue-legged baboon. Woo! Awesome. If she wants it, another one. Here, put it closer to the light. Definitely wants one. Let's get a good look at her. There we go. Let's bring the light. Ain't she a pretty beauty? It's a good looking baboon. Got this one from T-Soy Spiders back six years ago. She's doing really well in my care. All right, here's Kate, my Carabina Versicolor female, Antilles Pink Toe. Common Collective, but a savage eater. Grandma Stola Poteri, the rose hair, the common one, the ones that you used to see at the pet store. This one here is Angelica. I am a proud owner of a confirmed female, oops, sorry, girl, a Phonopalma varici, 
which is the Madrian Red Rump, uh, one of the U.S. tarantulas that I got from Tarantula Canada. That's her molt. Oh, look at that, on the Phonopelma. In threat pose. <laughs> Let's go to show you that individual specimens vary. Not every phonal palma that you come across is docile. Well, maybe this will be the new Isabel. I miss her. For those of you who are new to my channel, Isabel was uh, my late female Haitian brown bird eater uh, that really put on a good show for us for a hundred and I would say 30 feeding videos or so. Yeah, clearly she's not interested in eating, so we'll move on. All right, let's try an Afono Palma Gabelli, uh, which is the Chihuahuan Desert blonde, I would say. There's really no common name associated with it. But very mean and hungry as a Chihuahua. I believe this one could be a suspect male, so I'm naming him Gabriel or Gabrielle if it's female. But I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be male. Just because I do not see the epigastric furrow on the abdomen, but I need to confirm that with a molt. Nice. Oh, if you get this one, you'll be in such of a treat, a pleasure to film in my feeding videos. This is a female Acanthoscuria geniculata, which is the Brazilian giant white knee. A very, very hungry eater. Watch this. <laughs> right away. These guys have the most insane appetite you would ever see in a spider. Uh, these guys are like super saiyans in the fact that their bottom is pits when it comes to eating. Remember the, when you saw Goku and Vegeta pig out? These are these guys. All right, now for some Bracket Palma Baggins look-alike. Uh, this one here is the Costa Rican red-haired Bracket Palma Angustum. I showed you my first part. That was my smaller uh, juvenile. This is my juvenile female. And like the Vagans, uh, these Bracket Palmas are really savage eaters. very minute differences in coloration so always be sure to label them which one it is <laughs> there we go all right hopefully she doesn't really take off on me uh, one of my more skittish brachypalmas this one here is a B erratum uh, which is the Mexican flame knee and it's really easy to see why they're called the flame knees. Look at the knees in a flame tip pattern. Her name is Ada, definitely after the Resident Evil character. And this is the only one I got from Arachnophiliacs. Uh, Bruce Carr, nice size female, around I would say a good three and a half inches. All right, this one here is my Brachypalma Bomi, the Mexican fire leg. Boosh. 
next up is my Mexican Orange Beauty Brachypalma Bumgartini female love this one there we go she's looking very spiffy This one here is Chimera. She is my Brachypalma Bumgartini cross Bomi, the McGowan Orange Beauty. So basically if you saw the two tarantulas I just featured, if you hybridize them, basically crossbreed these two, this is what you get. So let's see how she will eat. There we go. Awesome. All right, now for an Evicularia Evicularia, the pink toe. This is my little spiderling. It's doing miraculously well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, okay, let me go get another cricket. Boom. <laughs> That's great. There it is. It's probably about a say an inch and three quarters, already showing adult colors and make out the pink feet I'm happy this one is Cali she is my Brachypalma Kallenbergi which is the new Mexican tarantula ooh sweet Let's do one more. Whoa, superb. <laughs> there we go, New Mexican. All right, this one here is Chitose. She is my female Zenithus species Columbia Blue, which is the Blue Bloom Bird Eater. All right, Let's see how Chitose does. Perfect. And I really like this light here because you can make out. blue coloration on the femurs. Yep, three inch female. Alrighty, he's a nice stud. Uh, this one here is my confirmed male. Wah! Megaphobema robustum, which is the Colombian giant red leg. There's the molt, which plug was about a week ago. Not mature yet, but probably he'll mature out, I would say, what, three, four molts, I think. All right, let's see if he's gonna eat. today Sunny Jim yeah it's 
It's a really beautiful male though. Yep, largest of the Mega Favina. Gets about an eight inch leg span. Really nice looking species. Alrighty, fresh Emily from her molt. Uh, this is my female Brachypelma Emilia, which is the Mexican painted red leg, or some people like to call it the Mexican true red leg. Something's happening. Beautiful, nice. All right, 12.34 a.m. on the 5th of April. I should be in bed, but I'm a very dedicated YouTuber. Let's see if I can get her to eat one more super. Oh, come on. You know you want it. Come on. Here we go, honey. Lego my Lego. <laughs> She looks like so pretty. Love the triangle carapace on the species. And this is an adult female around four and a half inches. That's how much they get in size. They're not very big like Brachypalma homore or the dragons. But still an impressive docile species. Some of them kick her decaying hair. They're not too bad in temperament. Alright, so this will be the final tea I feed on this lovely evening before I switch to morning. <laughs> uh, this one here is my Brachypelma Classy, which is the Mexican pink petunia, which has a lot, a lot of class. There we go. I love her. She always eats for us on camera. The only time that she will only refuse food is when she is going to approach a molt. Which, looking at her colors, is not any time soon. So she's about five and a half inches. Pretty much the largest you can get for B classy. Really nice coloration. Not always seen in the hobby, which is a shame. Uh, temperament wise, um, I've handled her in one of my older videos from I think two years ago. So she's pretty friendly. Uh, however, she can be a little bit skittish, uh, which can be a little cumbersome. But as you can see, perfect appetite star pupil in many of my feeding videos. Alright guys, so I will see you tomorrow morning. Here is Tarantula Shani's uh, mature male Pisotheria regalis Indian ornamental. Uh, this guy is a lovely, <laughs> lively male. Uh, last week I tried to mate with this guy and he ran right across the room and took me about half an hour to find this guy. But certainly he's very healthy and has quite a nice appetite. There he is, looks a lot different than the female. So I'll go let him dine up and move on to the next one. 
All right, let's try to film a head of Scarlet Maculata, which is the Togo Starburst Baboon, or Ornamental Baboon, as some people may have called it. There we go, crazy gentle. And boom, there we go, HMAC. That's the one I got from the Reptile Expo. Uh, and here's the HMAC. Beautiful, ain't she? Yeah, this is the one I got from Chad at the Reptile Expo. See, she's doing right, really well. And she's about five inches. Uh, typically, H Max get up to around that size, maybe five and a half. Uh, maybe she'll have some growing to do, but pretty much, she's uh, full, almost full grown. But a very nice, nice tea. All right, bring my Chevy to the levee. <laughs> this is the Trinidad Chevron uh, Samopius Cambridge. Uh, female. Boosh. Very nice spider. Here's a Pisotheria fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental female that I got from Tarantula Canada. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yep, she's about, I would say, a good four inches. And there you go. What's really unique about Pisotherias or the pokies is that their anterior legs, if you notice, they're colored yellow. And what they use it for is to ward off predators as a warning sign. So I would say that's pretty effective. In my opinion, uh, these fasciatas are really, really nice to get and definitely a must have in your pokey collection. Uh, temperament wise, it's, um, again, individuals do vary. Um, in my experience with only about eight fasciatas, I found them to be the most skittish and the most defensive of the bunch. Uh, there we go she's about four inches uh they'll get up to about eight inches so definitely half as grown as you see in this video a lot lot more growing to do and she freshly molted too so nice coloration i don't want to put too much light on here there we go All right, here's Amy. She is my Pisotheria vitata cross ornata, which is the ghost fringed ornamental, a five inch female. Yeah, this one is a hybrid pokey, basically a cross between a ornata fringed ornamental and a ghost ornamental. And there we go. Very interesting pokey, as you can see. She's got nice coloration going on. You can tell that it's not really a Vitata uh, because the anterior legs are yellow colored uh, with the Vitata, the ghost ornamental, hence the name why it's called the ghost, is that they're black and white. And um, if you look on the uh, dorsal side, uh, you'll see some greenish coloration and tinges all around the carapace, which uh, it confirms to me it's an ornata, but it'll be really interesting how to see how big uh, this pokey is. Uh, she is about like five inches, uh, definitely a juvie, but pretty respectable tea. Uh, even though it's a hybrid, I will not be breeding her, so this will just be a showpiece in my collection, just like Chimera. 
Hmm, got some nice coloration on the spiderling. This one here is a Harpactera poker piece, which is the golden blue like baboon. Push the cricket here. Stubborn little cricket, is he? There we go. Nice. This is about, I would say, close to an inch and a quarter and showing its full adult coloration. Alright, let's try to film a Pisotheria smithy, which is the yellow backed ornamental. And just find a little cricket. Smithy's right over here. Boosh. Fantastic. Up next we have a Woo! Sorry guys, I just missed that. <laughs> Pisotheria Hanuma Vila Semika. The Ramashworm Ornamental. Uh, this is about three quarters of an inch. Awesome. And that's shelf number five. We're going to feed my Homo Emma species blue. I don't know. Whoop. If there's a common name associated with this guy. That's a really cute spiderling. I picked this up at the expo from Don's Table, TangletonWebs.com, uh, as part of the freebie since I bought a lot of them from her. I don't know if she or he may be interested in eating, but there's a little half inch cricket for uh, this one. And there we go, I just missed the attack. There's that little Homo Emma species blue. Little pill vial. Attacked with great force. This one here is Haplopa species Columbia Large, the pumpkin patch. Bada bing, bada boom. Not too shabby. Pisotheria Miranda, Bengal spotted ornamental. Nice. Love these species. Oh yeah, isn't she birdie when she's under the right light? So this is Zelda, my Pisotheria regalis, Indian ornamental. Just got a super plump abdomen, I've been fattening her up quite readily.
Boosh. Really, really awesome pokey. All right, this one here is Violet. She is my purple tree spider, Tapnikinius Vilaceus. And she's all birdie with all their purple coloration. Bang! <laughs> nice attack. Alright, this one here is a male, Cyricopelma generalum, which is the general bird eater. Very nice looking species. get up to about six, six and a half inches. There we go. A little bit better lighting. My apologies, this one here is my sexed female. And now we're moving on to my sexed male. Let's see if he's gonna eat. How's the name Jack and Marguerite sound for both these spiders? Let me know in the comment section below whether or not these are good names for these or not. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. And to finalize feeding video 141 part 2, here's Espa looking at the camera. So this is my leopard gecko. A high yellow hypomorph. Really sweet. She really loves her supers. Here we go. Boosh. I really love this gecko, it's one of my favorites. And the eyes are really gorgeous on her. She has these snake eyes. So we'll give two more to her because I need to save them for my teas. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Mmm, super. I know I keep saying that, but you know, it's a perfect description. Thank you, Homer Simpson. And one more, Espa. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Awesome. All right, everyone. So that is it for feeding video part two. So now stay tuned for part three where we're gonna feature uh, shelf number seven and shelf number eight. And eight has the most of the teas. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know which tarantulas you liked in this feeding video, which is the best attack. Or just stop in and say hello. So next time we're gonna feature part three and stay tuned for that. All right guys, take care.